The hydrological cycle and people's intervention in this cycle make water flow. Flowing water does not stop at private land perimeters, nor at political and administrative boundaries. Groundwater is no exception to this. At least 145 countries worldwide share one or more aquifers with their neighbors. These are called transboundary aquifers. Groundwater interventions in such aquifers at one side of the border may result in groundwater changes on the other side. The importance of having sufficient quantity and proper quality of groundwater for people on both sides of the border raises issues of groundwater ownership and sharing. Groundwater-related tensions occur when the resource is scarce. Tensions rise even more easily when access and control over the resource are inequitably distributed over the various users. The ongoing civil conflict in parts of northern Kenya and Uganda is illustrative. Droughts in this arid region have diminished the groundwater availability dramatically in the last decade. Various groups compete over the scarce resources. It has triggered outbreaks of violence between them. Internationally, Israel, Jordan and the Palestine Authority are debating the management of scarce water resources. Water recharge areas on the West Bank are of vital importance for all parties concerned. Fortunately, cases where people find cooperative solutions for sharing scarce groundwater resources outnumber the cases of disputes and conflicts. Equitable water sharing has been internalized and practiced in many societies and cultures. For example, the Islamic Quran gives advice and rules on how to deal with scarce water resources. In Gujarat, India, groundwater trading developed between farmers who still have access to groundwater and those left waterless after a dramatic decline in groundwater. Instead of starting a conflict, people chose a mechanism of cooperation to deal with the scarcity. Since the late 1990s, the realization that many aquifers cross international boundaries has raised interest in the issue of transboundary aquifer management. International and regional organizations have forged cooperation between countries on transboundary aquifers, usually starting with inventories of these aquifers. Initiatives such as UNESCO's Programme on Internationally Shared Aquifer Resource Management, or ISARM, strongly support this new development. Operational transboundary aquifer management needs favorable conditions. This includes building awareness among users, scientists, water managers, policy makers and politicians. Secondly, diagnostic analysis of shared aquifers helps decide whether or not there's sufficient reason and motivation for developing management plans. The third requirement is an adequate institutional framework covering all stakes and stakeholders, tailored to the area-specific settings. Finally, an enabling environment with sufficient political support and funding. Collecting, analyzing and especially sharing of data, information and knowledge are of paramount importance in all these steps in the evolution of transboundary aquifer management. We've only just begun.